Hi, my name's Lee, I'm from MGI. I have with me today the MGI Zip X3. The X3 is an intermediate buggy, which is more affordable than the X5 or the Navigator. It is suitable for flat to moderate terrain courses. The Zip X3 comes with a swivel front wheel that can be locked or unlocked. You'll notice a covered lever at the front, which is red. You can rotate that 90 degrees, which will allow you to unlock the front wheel. Rotating it again will lock the wheel into position. Moving on from the front wheel, we'll focus on the center of the chassis. You'll notice a toggle in the center of the chassis that can be released. This will allow you to put an insert in for a seat, a sand bucket loop, or a sand bottle. Moving on from the center of the chassis, we'll focus on the rear wheels. The Zip X3 comes with all terrain wheels as standard. You would notice that there is a left and a right hand wheel for the X3. When standing behind the car, your right is on the right and the left is on the left. You can also unlock your rear wheels into a free wheel position. You will notice a grey lever in the centre of the wheel. Simply push this lever down and pull them out into the second position. There is two grooves on the axle. The most outer groove is free wheel, the inner groove is the drive position. The X3 comes with a 230 watt motor as standard and it also has a fourth wheel. To activate the fourth wheel simply tip the buggy to the side and you'll notice a toggle underneath. Press the toggle down and pull the wheel until it's in position. Moving on from the fourth wheel, we'll focus on the Zip battery. The Zip X3 comes with a 250 watt 18 hole battery as standard, with the added option to get a 380 watt 36 hole battery. I'll now talk you through the amazing click and go battery system. To attach the battery to the back of the buggy, simply put two fingers under the lever and locate the battery to the back of the car. Once it's in position, Push the lever all the way down until firm. The lever needs to be flush with the base of the battery. Another great feature is the onboard charging. You can simply release the lever, which will allow you to plug the charger into the back of the battery. You can also take the battery off and charge it elsewhere if desired. Moving on from the battery, we'll focus on the bag supports. The top bag support comes with adjustable straps and the lower bag support has a stretch strap as standard. The top handle is also adjustable. You'll notice a red lever that can be released and you can lower the handle into a lower position, lock the lever back in and push your bag support back down until it locks. Moving on from the handle, we'll focus on the accessory station. You'll notice that there is two ports, one on either side, that can be unscrewed to fit a range of accessories. You can fit an umbrella holder, scorecard holder, multi-purpose clip or a drink holder. Moving on from the accessory station, you'll notice a folding panel that can be opened up. This will allow you to fit a GPS holder into position. The X3 comes with a USB charging port underneath the handle. This will allow you to charge a range of devices. We'll now focus on the top box of the buggy. You'll notice that there is two buttons, one on the left, one on the right, and a central button, which is your speed controller or start-stop button. The left-hand button allows you to go through distances from distance A, distance B, and your total distance, similar to an odometer on your car. The right hand button simply allows you to go from meters to yards or kilometers to miles. The central red button is your speed controller. You can turn this clockwise to turn your speed up or anti-clockwise to turn the speed down. By starting and stopping, simply press the button once to start and again once to stop. You can also turn the top box off by holding down the left hand button and the start stop button at the same time. Hold this down for around three seconds and it'll shut the top box off. Do the same procedure again to turn it back on. Another great feature on the X3 is a control distance function. Simply hold down the start stop button for around three seconds and you'll notice it'll go into a CDF mode. This will allow you to send the buggy off five, 10 or 15 meters. You can turn this all the way up to 60 or all the way back down to five. To activate, press the button once and you'll notice the buggy will take off to the desired length. I'll now show you how to fold the buggy up. Remove the battery from the buggy and put to the side. You'll notice a red lever at the base of the buggy. Pull this red lever up and push your handle forwards. Once the handle is down all the way, release the red lever and fold the top handle all the way back. The next step would be to hold this toggle down and push your bag support all the way underneath until letting it go. The final step is by pushing this red lever all the way shut. 
To prevent damage in transit or storage, you can fold away your fourth wheel. Simply tilt your buggy up, you'll find a toggle underneath. Press the toggle in and tuck the fourth wheel until it locks into position. To save even more space, you can invert the wheels 180 degrees. Simply press down the lever, pull the wheel off, rotate it 180 degrees and fit it back onto the axle. To unfold your buggy, simply reverse the steps mentioned. The Zip X3 comes with a three year warranty if registered within 30 days in Australia. If not registered within 30 days, it comes with a two year warranty as standard, which applies for all other countries. If you'd like more information, please visit our website or contact your local sales representative. My name's Lee, thanks for watching.